Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're going to talk about Michael's Cubit. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we discussed the uh, no trump bids showing the lowest two suits. And now we want to talk about how do we show the other major plus an unspecified minor. And we call that the Michael's Cubit. The Cubit of the major that they open shows five of the other major and an unspecified minor. And that's Michael's. Um, we need to know that if you have a singleton in partner suit, the major, two no says, partner, I don't like the major. Please give me your best minor. That is how you find the minor fit. We cannot support the major with a singleton. So um, before we begin, are there any questions before I load the screen for you? Are there any questions about Michael's Cubit? Michael's Cubit is strong or weak. There's no in-between. You're either very weak or you're very strong. If you have a hand that's right in between like 12 to 13 or 12 to 14 points, you should bid naturally. So those are the parameters of Michael's Cubit. Strong or weak, everybody. I'm going to share the screen with you. And we're going to look at hand number one. I was just showing them another hand. Okay. North opens the bidding. I just want to switch off my phone. I'm sorry. It was not meant to be on. Okay. Uh, North opens the hand. One diamond. And now we have a very distributional hand. We have six five in the majors and two singletons. And we don't know which suit to bid. If we bid spades, partner might have hearts. If we bid hearts, partner might have spades. And the perfect description for this hand is the Michael's cubit. The cubit of the minor, two diamonds, shows the majors, either weak or strong. Now, I don't know if South is good enough to double. He's only got queen to four hearts. Usually you have 10 or more high card points to double. A double of a Michael's cubit by the responder says I've got 10 or more high card points and I'm very happy to double one of their suits. So on this hand at the moment, I think we would just pass. And West will bid two spades. You've got a three-card support, only a singleton heart. And it's going to go pass. And it's going to go pass because your partner was forced to bid. Partner could have two doubletons. Or if partner had a singleton and two doubletons, it depends. Partner might choose one card over the other. But at the moment... You would pass two spades. And now East is going to pass because we've done our job. Partner could have nothing in the hand. And now South has got to do something. South can't pass two spades. South has too many points to sit there and pass. Can't double, so he's going to make a, a can't a bid, so he's going to make a double. Only for the reason being he's got too many points in this hand. Partner, let's do something. It's not a penalty double. If he wanted to banish them with two spades, he would have doubled the two diamonds. Two diamonds doubled said, I've got 10 or more, and we're going to punish them. Either I've got hearts or spades. But when you pass, pass, and then you come in with a double, you are balancing. Listen, partner, we have too many points. We can't leave them in two spades. So it's going to go pass here. And you're now going to bid three clubs. And now East has got a longer heart suit than spade suit. 
and is now going to bid three hearts to tell partner, hey partner, I need you to know that I was six in hearts and five in spades. And now you go back to three spades. And that should be the final contract, three spades. And that's where you will be playing. We just can't leave them at the two level. We have too many high card points to sit back and let them play in two spades. Are there any questions on this hand? I have a question about yes. that. Why did East bid two diamonds? That's called Michael's Cubit. The Cubit of the minor shows at least 10 cards, 5-5 five, five, or 6-5 in the majors. How else can we describe this hand? How else not, can we describe this club? hand? Why didn't they play bid one club? What did you want them to bid? One club. Fucking east. No. North. And I don't get what you're saying. Who should bid one club? Well, East bid two diamonds. Oh. Why did East not bid oh. two clubs? Two clubs. Okay, stop. Two clubs, but they opened a diamond. North opened a diamond. North opened diamonds. So well, the they're only using cubit, the diamond as a cubit. They're bidding the It's a, it's a cubit. You can't bid clubs. You don't have clubs. An overcall of two clubs is clubs. She didn't read it. Okay. Right. The overcall of two clubs is clubs. So it's got to be the cubit of the minor shows both majors. You're either weak up to 11 points. Or you've got 15 or more high card points. At least 10 cards. At least 10 cards. I have a what? question. I didn't understand why the club bid on South. Was it just because that was their best suit and do anything? No, to get North out? bid three clubs. North bid three clubs, their second suit. South doubled, saying, oh, partner, okay. let's do something. Okay, sorry. And North showed the second suit to show nine cards, five diamonds and four clubs. Okay, North sorry. North bid clubs, mm -hmm. not yeah. South. Yep. Now, if they hadn't bid three hearts, South would have bid three diamonds because diamonds are longer than clubs. Diamonds yep. are longer than clubs. And now they played in three spades. Why didn't West bid four spades because they had an eight card fit? Because you're either weak or you're strong. How do you know what partners got? The hand is not working. The cards are not good. You have a singleton in partner's second suit. And, and you haven't got enough points to get to four spades. You haven't got enough points to get to four spades. And this could Linda? work. This could work terribly. This could really work very badly. So three Linda, spades is more than enough on this hand. The handout shows the bidding different than what you have here. What does it say? Uh, after the three clubs, it has passed by east, uh, three diamonds by south, and then pass, pass, and a question mark. That's right. It's a question mark as to what to do. But it says that East passes when you, you have Well, you can bidding. put three hearts to show longer hearts that you have six. You can pass the three clubs, but then South has to go back to three diamonds, the first bit suit. You did, yes. But yeah. you know you have an eight-card major suit fit. And a singleton and an ace. So it's up to you if you want to bid three spades and compete. And that's why Michael's cube, it makes it very difficult for people because people don't know whether you're strong or weak. And now it becomes very diff difficult when people interfere. 
And you're going to lead, obviously, the nine of diamonds, right? If they you're playing in three spades, they're going to lead the king of diamonds in three spades. But if you're playing in diamonds, they may lead. Um, well, let's see if they were playing in diamonds, they're not going to lead a spade. Partner didn't guarantee anything in spades. They may lead the ace of hearts. They may very well lead the ace of hearts and come back a spade. Everybody Give them a rough and then come back a spade. I, I, it all depends how it goes. So let's say they're playing in three in three spades. They're going to lead the king of diamonds. So Linda Jennifer has her hand up. Yes, Jennifer. Oh, I guess I was, I didn't realize about that um, double, the balancing double, because South does have nine points, but what was I hoping to achieve? What did I want my partner to say? Because we because we already know that they were going to just end up in a, in a two level spade contract. I was thinking I have nine points. Well, I wasn't thinking because I didn't do it. I don't even know if I had this hand actually at the bottom. Well, the thing is, this nine points and partners opened, you've got the majority of the points. You should True. never pass the two level. Yeah. That's why well, you have to double. And would how would this hand have done if it ended up in no trump? Like by no, no trump's not an option. When partners got six five or five five, we're never playing in no trump. Okay. Ever. Never. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. But that's the purpose of the Michael's Q-Bird. The purpose yeah. of Michael's Q-Bird is to try and stop them from coming in. Okay? So it can go either way. You can leave so, the so king of diamonds. Yeah. Okay. Cash the king of hearts. And the ace of diamonds. Cash the king of hearts. And give up a club. And don't touch trumps at all. And try to rough out the hearts with those three baby spades if they don't play a trump. But they should lead a trump. It's automatic to lead a trump to stop them roughing out the suit. And if you lead a trump, it's going to be easy for them anyway. They're going to make four spades most probably on this hand. But we don't want to leave them in two. Are there any questions on this hand, everybody? You want me to play it or can we get to the next one? Move on. Move on. Can you play Move it? On. Oh, play it. Never mind. How many people said they want me to play it? I need to know. Move on. Move on. Move on. on. Move on. Okay. People want to move, move on. on. Move on. Oh. Kathy, I can't, does the um, chat lesson, the lesson in chat, I can't get it to open. Is that no, just me? Nor can I. Nor can yeah. I. I'll it, try it says it's up. corrupted. Let it me corrupted. put one up for you and see if that'll work because I've, I've also got it. Kathy's been putting it up and I've been putting it up. Let me see if I can do that for you. Yeah. It, it downloads as a PDF, but then my system won't open it. Yeah. Oh, well. uh, None of ours corrupted. Okay, thank you. And can you try mine? Mine looks right. It's got a green check mark. Try mine, everybody. Okay, I'm doing it. It's working. It's working. My one's working. It's got a green check mark. Maybe the other one is corrupted. Um, If you look at the other one, it's got a blue mark. It means it did something wrong with it. I don't see the, the mark, but the second I see it. posting I see it. opens. Okay, so there you go, everybody. I'll put it up for you, okay? Thank you. Thank All right, you. So let's look at hand number three. Okay. Um, South opens the bidding with one diamond. We open the higher of two four card minors. And now you've got the same kind of situation with 5-5 five, five, and you don't know which suit to bid. You don't want to overcall a spade when you might have hearts and vice versa. So the best way to describe this hand is to bid two diamonds. It's the only way to describe the hand. It's either weak or strong. It's going to go past by north. Now, look at the east hand. 
East has an amazing hand. East has too many points to put two, two hearts. So automatically, whether the partner is strong or weak, East has to go to game and bid four hearts. You bid the limit of your hand according to how many you have. And that's a great way of showing this hand. It's a great way of showing. And it's automatic they're going to lead the ace, king of diamonds. We always lead from where we live. Ace of diamonds, king of diamonds. And then what are we going to lose on this hand? That's it, everybody. All we lose are two tricks, the ace of diamonds and the king of diamonds. We can set up the spades, they break three, three, we draw trumps and we have nothing to discuss. Nothing to discuss. What would be South's third card? Would they switch suits to clubs or stay with diamonds? No, let me explain something. It's very important when you see, that. I love that question. One of the parts of defense is that short suits run away. So when there's a short suit in the dummy, we're not 100% sure where the queen is. And if the opponent's got the queen, they can throw their three of clubs away with the queen of diamonds. So that's why you should always switch to the short suit, not the long suit. Because short suits run away. So I would switch to the club. I'd play with the two diamonds and switch to a club. The two are clubs. And that's it. There are no spade losers, no heart losers. And which is the master hand? Does everyone know how to set up the master hand? The master hand is the one with the long trumps. That's the dummy. So this is how we're going to play the hand. Ace of diamonds, little diamond. Okay, two of diamonds, little diamond. King of diamonds, five of diamonds, three of diamonds, little diamond. Now, short suits run away. I'm not 100% sure if my partner told me she has the queen. But when there's two in dummy, you don't have to tell partner you've got the queen. Now, I would switch to the two of clubs. And we play the lowest of touching. They're all the same value. And they're going to win the ace. They're going to draw trumps. Hope they're 2-2. Two, two. And the queen. And now you set up the dummy. You see that dummy? The hand with the long trumps. I want to train all of you to recognize that when you make one hand the master hand, it's the one with the long trumps, and it happens to be the dummy. You can take your king of clubs. You can throw away your spade. You don't really need to. And now you don't rough any clubs, everybody. Forget about your hand. I want you to look at the west hand. Let's go for the spades. We have a 5-2 fit. We play the high card from the short side first. You play a low card. Jack. King. And you rough a spade. And the spades break three and three. And if they didn't break three and three, you just rough them again, and that's the end of the hand. And you make 11 tricks, everybody. 11 tricks. Okay? Any questions? 11 well, tricks on this hand. Well, it looks like East has to bid the four, because if they bid three, West East is going to pass. East is the captain. But yeah, I'm West gonna, is going to pass, right? Uh, uh, West mustn't pass. I want to give, give you. I want to give all of you a little tip in bridge. Okay. If ever any of you are invited to game, either as an opener, always a responder, always accept with a singleton. Everybody. Oh, okay. 
A singleton's worth three extra points. I want you always to accept with a singleton, okay? Except, uh, Linda, accept what with a singleton? The invitation. Oh, okay, thank you. Partner with three hearts, inviting you to game. Okay, if you're the that, opener okay. or the responder and you've got six points in a singleton and you say, oh, my God, I can't accept with six points, don't ever do that. If you've got a singleton, you go to a game, you'll come back and tell me, God, that was the best news I've ever done. Trust me. Always accept with a singleton. Your hands were three extra points. So I don't want you ever to pass looking at seven points, okay? <laughs> if partner invited you to game. Okay? Any other questions? I'm looking for more hands. No more? Okay. Good. I could have asked what one. Well, yeah. All right, we're on hand number five. All right, whatever. Are there more questions before we begin? More questions? I have a question. Yes. I guess I'm a little confused if I'm um, doing a Michael's Cubid as a mini. Yes. And, um, my partner, um, how many points? would she need to go to the three level or four level over my potential mini? Well, the other hand was a massive hand because you had a double fit. The cards are working. I don't want you looking at points anymore. I want okay. you to look at fits. The ace doubleton spade was a wonderful fit. It's a working card. And you had a wonderful heart fit. Mm -hmm. And you had an outside ace. So mm -hmm. I always look at losers. And I look, do I fit or don't I fit? Are my cards working? Who opened? Is the opening over me or under me? Am I right or over me? And I always look to see where the cards are located. So I'm not a point count person. I like to look at cards that work for me, depending on where they're located. That's part of hand evaluation. And I think that's really important. So I don't want you all to be so rigid with points, everybody. I want you to think of tricks. Bridge is a game of tricks. And tricks are aces and kings. So you must start looking at it from that point of view as to whether you should bid two or three. I mean, Queen Doubleton, Queen Jack Doubleton, these are worth nothing. You know what I'm saying? You can have points, but these are worth nothing. Does that answer your question, Jennifer? Jennifer, does that answer your question? Okay, all right. One spade by the opposition, now a north, and here you have hearts and a minor. And you're not vulnerable against vulnerable. It's really a great bid. I think two spades is a perfect bid for this. How else am I going to show my partner that I got a five-card heart suit and a five-card minor? Um, this hand will bid three spades. I have a fit with a fit and two aces. I'm definitely going to bid three spades on this hand. Right? I'm not going to deny a fit with a fit with two aces and three card support. And now, West is going to bid four hearts. Because West knows you have at least nine cards and you're not vulnerable. So you're definitely going to bid four hearts. And now I cannot see how um, North could not go four spades with that lovely long spade suit. So let's go to four spades. And now it's a matter of decision. We have passed, made our partner bid. Don't forget we made our partner bid, right? Are we going to go five hearts with a void? Well, my partner made a free bid. Didn't my partner make a free bid over three spades? I think I'm going to go five hearts. Once my partner made a free bid, and now everything hinges on the south hand. Do we or don't we go to five spades? Do we or don't we go to five spades? I don't think I'm going to go to five spades. I think I'm going to double. Okay, I've got two aces. And I'm hoping my partner's got something else. But I'm going to tell you something else to that. We're not sure whether we should double. For one reason. 
When people show two suited hands, their distribution is so freak that you could never believe what would happen. The distribution is so freak because nine times out of 10, when you double these two suited Michael Cubits, they make the contract. So you shouldn't really double with the ace of spades is not a definite trick. And the only trick you've got is the ace of clubs. And your partner might have one other ace. But I don't think we're going to make five spades. So maybe we should just pass five hearts. Okay? So I want to be very careful to not double two suited overcalls. 99% of the time these people make their contract on distribution, not on points. Yes, what's the question? So West would go to four hearts with four uh, very yes, flat hands. Yes, nine and no spades. We know partners got no spades. Because once they opened a spade and the other hand supported spades, and we've got three partners got maximum one or none. So you know you should go four hearts. You have a wonderful heart fit. You have a wonderful heart fit. Okay? And you're not vulnerable. They're not going to go to five spades vulnerable. You're not vulnerable. If you get doubled or go down, it doesn't matter. But you definitely can't leave them in four spades when you're not vulnerable and they're vulnerable. So you go to five hearts. So let's look at it from five hearts and then let's look at it in four spades. All right? If we look at it in, in five hearts, we're not leading the king of spades. Never ever will we leave the king of spades. Somebody's got to be void. You've got too many spades to leave the spade suit. You leave the king of clubs. You like that, hey? Now you come back the queen. And then five. Now looking at this hand, there's nothing more to take. I've got five clubs in my hand, three in the dummy. Now, I don't know whether my partner's got three clubs or two clubs. If my partner's got three clubs, the clear has got no more. None. I have five. If North's got three is eight, dummy's got three, they're going to only have two clubs in the West hand. My only hope to beat this contract is if that queen of clubs is a doubleton. You must put up the ace, everybody. And this is your only means to beat the contract. If you don't do that, they're going to make five hearts. Looking at that dummy. And now they go down. Let's look at four spades, everybody. Okay, we're going to look at four spades and let's look at the losers. In the spade suit, we've got none. In the hearts, we've got one, which is the master hand. The one with oh. the long spades. We're looking at three diamond losers. But we can always throw one diamond away on the clubs and all the clubs will be good. So the most important thing to make this hand, okay, is what are they going to lead? Are they going to lead the king of diamonds or are they going to lead the ace of hearts? That's the most important thing. They should lead the ace of hearts to look at the dummy. Then they know their partner's got to have four hearts. <laughs> Why did partner go to the four level? Not on a three-card suit. It's got to be a four-card suit. And then they should switch to the king of diamonds. And all you can take are two diamonds 
and one heart and you make four spades. How's that? So five hearts, game one down is a very good save, not vulnerable against vulnerable. And you'll make five hearts if they don't give put the ace of club on their partner's queen of club and give them a rough. You will make five hearts. Are there any questions on this hand? I'll always leave the ace of hearts just to look at the dummy. And when the queen drops, I stop and go to the king of diamonds. Any questions? None? Everyone loves Michael's Cuba. They all know it already. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes, Bonnie. When we finish this, could we look at the opening bid in hand four, please? Sure. Is everyone finished with this hand? Yes. Okay. Let's yes, look at Let's look at hand number four. I'm happy to do that. Do you want to know the opening bid or uh, on how the bidding should go? Uh, particularly um, the east. Are we opening a heart? Right? And they're going to bid two hearts, Michaels, showing five spades and five of a minor. And now he should bid three hearts. I've got a fit with you, partner. I never deny a fit with a fit with a weak hand. I would bid three hearts. And now, what's going to happen now? How do they, three no trumps always kind of to play. I, I I would play three no to play. You can't bid three no for the minor. Once you bid three hearts, they can't bid two no trump for the minor. If you don't bid three hearts and we undo that bid and you pass with six points and you decide to pass east, this hand's not even going to bid for the minor. I'm going to bid two spades. I always support with a double tip. I always support with a double tip. A 5-2 isn't a train smash. So this hand's going to pass. And this hand's going to pass. And now you're going to bid three hearts. Well, why are you letting people tell each other a story at the bridge table? I don't like to do that. I want to bid it straight away. Is that what you wanted to know? Yes, thank you. I hope that answers your question. Yes, thank you. I like to block out as quickly as I can, everybody. I don't want to let people know anything at the bridge table. If I fit, I show my fit. That's my theory. Anything else? Any other hands? None? Yes, Debbie. You do the I had a the question. Oh, I'm sorry, I had my hand up. Just one Debbie. second, Susan. Give me one second. Um, uh, on this hand. Yes. So uh, I have a general question about this mini maxi stuff. How do you want us to count for the middle thing of whether we should go up or not? Like, like on this hand, walk me through it because the number of points, seven, eight, nine is 10 plus, how are you counting the distribution? How do I know when it's in you that? You can't count distribution until you find a fit. Right, so 10 points is still a mini 10 hand. 10 points is good enough. It's okay. when you've got that 12 to 14, you want to bid naturally. Okay. It's 12 okay. to 14 high card points. Right. Thank you. Yes, Susan. Oh, can you do number nine? Board number nine. Board number nine. I think they were asking about the lead on board four, weren't they? Well, Wasn't that the original question? Okay. Well, you mean you but what are they going to lead when they're playing three hearts? I don't know. I didn't ask the question, but that I thought. I know it's very difficult to lead, and you've got a singleton heart. I'm not leading the ace of spades from ace queen. I'm not too keen to lead the diamond. I might. I hate leading doubletons. I really do, but I might lead the seven of clubs. I don't like leading doubletons. Right. If you're going to lead a diamond, I'm leading the jack of diamonds, top of an interior sequence. But yeah. I'm not a result player. Okay. I don't know what to lead. Ask her. One thing I'll never do is lead a singleton trump ever. Never will I lead a singleton Some trump. Do that. Does that help you? Does that help you for leads? 
why lead and why not lead double? Um, Does that help you for leads? Ask her. I'm waiting. Huh? No one's answering me. She asked me about a lead. I, I don't know. I would. My choice is the Jack of Diamonds or the Seven of Clubs. I'm never leading the Ace of Spades from Ace Queen. Never. Jennifer has her hand up. Yes, Jennifer. Hi. Um. So are you saying that you would support those spades with the double tin? No, um, not support. I've been asked to choose. Oh, And when okay. I'm asked to choose and I'm not off the hook, I always support with the double tin as a right. last resort. And also because I know they're so distributed. It's the lowest level. It's the lowest level. Mm -hmm. If they pass, if East passes, I have to put two spades with the doubleton spade. Oh yeah, I, yeah, that's right. That's right. Otherwise, um, otherwise I don't do that. That's right. Okay. Why wouldn't I want to ask? Okay. Yes. Uh, why wouldn't I want to ask what their minor is? Because you've got a five two fits, not a train smash. I don't okay. want to be at the three level. I'd rather be at the two level in a five two fit than at the three level when I'm not sure if I'm in. Wow. In uh, with a golden fit, I'd so I can't. Use the two all right, so I can't use the two no trump. I only use point. the two no when I have a singleton in my partner's major. That's the only time I use the two oh, no. Got it. It's the single. Thank you. That helped. Okay. Oh, that's important. That's all right, important. let's do the last one, number nine. That's, on this one, how do you evaluate north? Oh you, my you gosh! Count length, or you just count the well. The king of hearts. Points. The king of hearts is not that great. Um, the club suit's pretty good. It's not a good enough hand to reverse by opening a club and bidding diamonds. I think I'm just going to okay. open a club and pretend it's a six card suit. I would open a club on the hand. It's as good as a six card suit. And now this okay. hand would be two clubs. This hand is going almost to slam. I bet two clubs. Pass, Bassa. And now partner's got to make a bid. And I don't like my king of clubs. The location is very bad. That's what I was trying to teach you on hand evaluation. My king of clubs is not good when they're over me and they opened a club. So I'm going to put two spades. I've got three spades. And now it's entirely up to you whether you wish to put six spades and hope. I've got two, three losers on this hand. I've got no idea what to do on this hand. It's going to go past by north. North should not be bidding again on a five-card club suit. Never. And now you have to make the decision. And I don't know. I'm crazy about shape. I've got three losers. And I really love the shape. I might just bid six spades and hope I make it. I've got no idea what else to bid. I've got a void. I can't black word. I don't know where my partner's aces are. It doesn't help me with the void. I might just bid six spades and hope. And that's what I would bid. You don't want to be uh, like me and go crazy, you know, be happy. Uh, then just bid four spades. But I am a great gambler. And I think this is a great hand to bid six spades. It just looks too good. I don't care much about points. I love the shape. The worst is on a finesse. After all, they did open on your right. And if partners got spades, you're home to make spades. It all depends on the hand. Okay, we've so, got a number of hands up. Sherry has her hand up first. Yes, yes. Hey, Linda, I don't even know how to ask the question because I didn't understand. It was about uh, how uh, the fact, I don't know, that South has the four clubs and I know West has the three clubs and you don't want to do that. Because well, I always old. said to you, when you value a hand, Sherry, you got to mm -hmm. work out, is my king working or not? If they opened up on my right, a club, my king may be a working card. If they open on my left, the king is not a working card. Be because that, 
I know that they me. have enough. They're they over probably me. have. Uh huh. They're okay. over me. So it's very important when you do hand evaluation as to who opens where and where are my cards located. So sometimes okay. I devalue my hand and I'm the only one out of game because they open when I know my card is not going to be worth anything. And that comes to hand evaluation. I think we're going to do hand evaluation. Yes, we're doing hand evaluation in February. It is very important that you've got to look about the hand. And this is not a great hand. This hand, West, is not great. Okay, yes, who's next? Uh, Debbie. Uh, okay, so my partner, instead of using Michael's, when he had six in both of them, mm -hmm. though we, we play Michaels um, and did on the other hand, um, bid the hearts first with the idea that it was so strong that he'd be able to come back. Now you have to jump to over your first suit, guaranteeing your first suit's longer than your second. Never, ever. Okay, we you ended up, we ended up in four suit. hearts and made six. But when you jump over your first suit, let's say partner doesn't really fit with you and you want to show your spade suit. If you put hearts first and then spades, you guarantee your spade hearts are longer than your spades. Okay. And that's why you should never do that. So in six, six fits, you use Always Michael. high five. Remember high five. High one first. Second suit twice. So high if you wanted to bid one of them, he'd, so if you wanted always to bid one five. instead of Michael's, he'd start with the spades. Yeah, but always high five. If ever you okay. have to make a bid, okay? All right, got it. Okay, next one, Barbara. Um, what is the the way that I thought about it is I have opening points and I did a plain overcall. Oh no, I don't want to be left in that hand. I don't want to overcall that hand. It's too good. I might okay, be no, east. I was east. I overcalled I with this space. I don't want to be left there. This hand's too good. But why would I be left there if my partner has... Well, you don't know. What are you going to do if your partner's left with the other hand? Let's take South's hand and put it in the West hand. Partner's not going to bid. And okay, that could happen. I, I see. And that I could see. happen. Okay. So I don't want to be left in one spade. Okay. You're, okay. you're strong enough that, that it's worth taking some risk to tell your partner. Right. And I don't want to double. Suits. I don't double on 6-6. Six, six. It's just too distributional. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Okay, thank you. I got My it. My pleasure. Anybody else? No one? Okay. Anything else? I will stop sharing the screen. I hope you all enjoyed this lesson on Michael's Cubit. I think it's very exciting. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. My question had nothing to do with that hand that was up there. It okay, tell me about it. it. It was that when your partner Cubits, that is a forcing bid. Even if you have zero points in your hand. You have no, to bid. No. Can't what? pass a cubit. Cannot pass a cubit. All right. So you're saying no. and You were shaking your head no when I asked, is a cubit a forcing bid? Always. 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 So even if you have zero points in your, in your hand? You've got to choose. Okay. It's the, same as, it's the same over a take out double. If you make a takeout double and you've got zero points and the other people haven't bid, you're not off the hook. You have got to bid. Thank you so much. So well, what if there's I, an intervening bid? Once there's an intervening bid, you're off the hook. Okay. Right. But yeah. once there's no intervening bid, you can never pass a Q bid ever, ever, ever. Yes. My my question was when there was no intervening bid. Yeah. Uh, that, that intervening bid, place. you're off the hook. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Don't forget that tomorrow you have another game at 2 o'clock, 0 to 20 or 0 to 100. Um, I hope you're all starting to uh, join. And I want to let everyone know next week, next week we have silver points, 150% for all virtual club games. So next week, Tuesday and Thursday night, and the rest of the week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, all silver point games. So you'll be getting lots of extra points. I look forward to seeing you next week with the elimination of losers in uh, as a defender and as a declarer. And I want to thank you all, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you, you, as always, Linda. You're awesome. 
Thank, Thank you. you. Are these new games just random hands if there's no lesson? No lesson. You just get the common game. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you.